Well, hello, family. This is Carlos Vides with Innovative Minds here at Televida. And I'm hoping that everybody is coming to an end and had a lot of fun during this summer and is getting ready for the best time as well. You have all the celebrations and all the company parties and all that stuff that goes on. As you always know, I always like to make sure that you are doing this in a safe way. So I always let, I, you know, ask you to keep some precaution to make sure that everything is, is uh, taken care you get your flu shots and you get everything in order that way you don't get sick and enjoy the rest of the season. If you have time, stop by to see us at Fiesta Kansas City this weekend. We're going to be up there celebrating uh, the Independence Day for Central and South America, which is what we call the Hispanic Heritage Month. So we'll be celebrating a lot of that through the month of uh, from here on. Let's just say that from here on to October, because we love to celebrate. <laughs> so <laughs> now I ask you to please sit down, relax, take a notebook and, and a pen and take some notes because you are about you in for a treat today. You're going to learn a lot of great things. You're going to get inspired and you're going to learn how to become a business person, how to grow a business, uh, specifically in the service industry. So the guest that I have with me today, it is a very special person to me. It's somebody that I met many years ago, and I know him very, very well. I see him going from the low to the high. So you're going to learn every little trick how to get into an industry that is very cool industry. So sit down, relax, pen and paper, and let's take a ride. Today, our guest is Mr. Johnny Tucker. He's a, he's a partner at the Greater Kansas City, New York Life local office. And I think I, uh, some of you have seen me with him in the community. Yeah. So I hope that you pick up some good ideas from him. Let's do this. Mr. John Tucker, thank you for being here. Carlos, thank you for having me, buddy. Thank what you, a, I appreciate what it. What an honor. Oh, it's an honor being here. It's I, been a lot of years, hasn't it? You know, it's... Uh, definitely has. It has. Because, and I can measure that by looking at your little kid now turning 20. <laughs> 20 years old today. Jazz, my daughter Jasmine is 20 years old. It's incredible. I don't know where the time went, but I'm happy for her. She's doing well. Cute. Yeah. 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 Smart too. Smart girl, just like your, your daughter's there. You know, they're doing you know, well. We are very lucky parents. We are. We are. We got good kids, but yeah. nothing comes easy. Uh -huh. Nothing comes easy. Not at all. You have to pay your dues. Absolutely. You know, and as parents, we provide a foundation for our kids to grow on. And that, that's what it's all about is Absolutely. leaving that legacy for our kids. Yeah. yeah, I remember that little girl when she was, uh, you know, playing around with my, my, all my kids and you guys would come over and we did the Christmas, the right. Christmas breakfast yeah. and watch them every year being bigger and bigger, taller right. and taller. That's right. So... <laughs> You know, the things that we provided for our children, hopefully they'll provide for theirs in the communities when they get older, you know? So yes. very proud of all the girls, all the girls. That, we still got to keep doing it. We still got to keep discipline. And, and That's right. Sure that That's right. When well, you say parenting doesn't stop, does it? Yeah. <laughs> it's forever. Yeah, That's right. Yes. But I sure appreciate you being here today. And Thank I'm you. hoping to share some good things. Uh, I want the community to learn about your tenacity, your intelligence and everything you do uh -huh. uh, for in the things you do for a living as, right. a, as a single father oh, and yeah. also as a professional. Wow, wow. Yeah. Single father, you're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Father with um, custody of my children. That was yeah. incredible. What an yeah. experience. You know, uh, when I met you and short after that, you said, well, I guess that I'm by myself raising kids and you had a little girl, Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Honestly, in a different way, that became motivation for me uh -huh. because when you have, I don't care if you have one child or six children, mm -hmm. if you're the parent and they're looking up to you and counting on you to make things better and provide for them, you just do what you have to do. Yes. And, and that was my mindset. That's my mindset today, even though they're older. So, but, you know, you had to learn very quick how to braid hair. Yeah. Because they organized oh, gosh. little girl's clothes. Yeah, I could tell you some stories of where I tried to comb through her hair and I'm raking through it hard and she's getting frustrated with me and daddy stop, daddy stop. But, you know, <laughs> hey, I learned and I got better with time. I know that for sure. And that's amazing. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I specifically admire the most to begin with. Yeah, yeah. How you were able to... Uh, to go from just being a professional man to a single father and keep the professional going? Well, it's a balance. 
is a balance. And not that it wasn't a challenge, mm -hmm. but hey, family first. I actually, God first, because I'm, I'm a faithful man. I prayed a lot. Love that. So God first, because that gave me the strength and the mm -hmm. support I needed to take care of my children. Mm -hmm. And then a professional life. Mm -hmm. And then my commitment to the community. And it all comes together. And next thing you know, we're five years down the road, 10 years, now 14 years down the road, and things are continue to get better. And, and it will continue to get better because the foundation was set up the right way. That's right, that's right. That's you know, you put, all, you put all the, all the hard work into setting up this foundation. That's right. So you didn't cut any corners, you did everything the right way. Well, you know what? I'll tell you this, I learned along the way. Because mm -hmm. there were some shortcuts that I tried to take. <laughs> and and you work. know what happens when you take shortcuts? You, you end up redoing it over. It didn't so work. It didn't work. So yeah. I learned to uh, use what I knew and, and, and really listen. Be a great listener mm -hmm. to people even like yourself, Carlos, you know, that, that has two girls. You know, so I'm listening to your conversation on what you're doing to develop your children. I listen to my neighbors and my friends. So it all... You know, they say it takes a community to raise children. I definitely found that out. <laughs> and you also have a great supported community. Your neighborhood is amazing. It is. It yeah. is. My, my friends, my family, mm -hmm. uh, they all, especially during my time of need, they mm -hmm. all came together. Mm -hmm. And those same people are there today. Yeah. You but know? you know what else? Um, somebody said to me, well, you know, you had got handouts. And I said back, and I go. I want to say this because this is exactly where you where you've been. Mm -hmm. Is the handouts all that help? You didn't get it for free. You earned it. Well, with trust, yeah. good relationships, yeah. and being a good neighbor, yeah. a good citizen of the community, so they respect you and look up to you. So that's why they support you. Well, you know what? Any situation, you know, if you're a good person and you mean well, and you do what's right. People will lend you a hand. They'll help you out. They'll support you. Mm -hmm. If you're not, then it's hard to develop that trust. And that's where issues kind of fall into place. And, mm -hmm. and um, you don't have as many people extending their hand out to, to yeah. bring you up. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's, trust is, is very high. It's a high priority for me. Um, I'm the type of individual that I take everyone, everybody, mm -hmm. for who they are mm -hmm. until they prove me wrong. Mm -hmm. So you have the trust at the start, and you know, hopefully that continues on. Excellent. I like that. Yeah. And if you, if you wonder why we are talking about, we're starting the conversation this way, because the reason why I'm doing it this way, because I want you to know that things that have never been easy, things have become easier, but they were tough. And the reason why I said that is because when, when Mr. John Tucker became a single father, he was just starting a career at New York Life. Mm -hmm. But he was just coming out from a 22-year career where he had a successful life. And he left that company to come into a different pattern of his life. And boom, the break came, you know, the breakout happened and all that stuff. But he was able to still stay focused and keep his goal and stay on the path that he was looking for to become who he is now. He didn't feel menace, you wanna learn about who is Yanni Tucker today. But I want you to look at it from the very beginning because this is how it works. If you're stuck in life right now and you feel that things are about to end for you, you may wanna pay attention to this. And if you are in a situation right now where you say, I'm a stuck, I'm in a dead end in my career, I don't know where to go, uh, nobody will hire me or pay me good money, I'm worth a lot more money than what I earn, well, then same thing. We are back to the same place. You may want to listen to what we want to talk about it today. So there you have it. That's how I want to go down to. All right. Yes. Sure. Because the reason, once again, I brought this down because you were coming out from a 22 year oh, yeah. career yeah. where you had a perfect life. I mean, you had a great life. Well, yeah. You know what? I had an incredible life. Yeah. That 22 year career did me well. It took care of my family. Yeah. Uh, it allowed us uh, several things in life to enjoy, okay? It, looking at it from the immigrant side, uh -huh. you got it a nice home, the yes. big house, yeah. you had the sport cars, yeah. you had the cars, you had the wife, you had the kids, you had everything. Yeah, that's right. So I guess we can say the American dream. You had the so, American dream. Yeah, I was living the American dream, but there was something within me at the age of 40, mm -hmm. and that was my 22nd year, mm -hmm. that said, we're in America, I want more. There we go. 
I just didn't know what that war was and where it was going to come from. Yes. Okay. And then you left the company to move on to the next part, to, to your next path. That's right. Well, I, I took the leap of faith. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> leap of faith. Because, you know, my intentions, I've always had interest in financial services. Mm -hmm. Okay. But my intentions were not to end up at New York Life. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's where my path led me to. And now it's been 14 years. But let me tell you, year one, I started out. <laughs> you want to talk yeah. about year one? <laughs> well, well there's some good times in year one. You know, there was a lot of smiles and a few tears. But here we are in year 14 now. Yeah. I'm so glad I stayed the path. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, I started with zero clients. Zero clients. Building my practice. And all I had was hope and faith that I could get this done and be successful. And that. desire to learn. And a desire to learn. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. You don't continue your learning in our business. Mm -hmm. uh, things will go stale on you quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I sure remember this because I happened to be right next to yeah. him, hand in hand, like the two docs holding him. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. I don't know if you remember. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I can share this with you. But the one time we were trying to figure out what to do, how yeah. to be successful. We believe we were believers yeah. and we knew we we could do it. But the one time when it was 98 degrees and we're walking down the street um, in a suit and tie trying to introduce ourselves in the summer. And there was a gentleman from another business that yeah. ran out and said, guys, come on in. Come on <laughs> in here. It's too hot outside. It's too hot outside. You remember, <laughs> here's some water. What are you guys doing? Yeah. And we told him. Yeah. But we didn't know better. Mm -hmm. We were just taking advantage of the opportunity that was presented to us. We were happy to be there. And, and happy to be there. Because we were new. Yeah. We were looking for to make the best of this. That's right. right? That's right. And uh, we were happy just to be able to talk to that guy and talk to people in general. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because the business, when, it, when you think about financial services, it's a people business. It's a mm -hmm. relationship business. And if there's not a connection between yourself being the advisor or the financial professional and whoever you're trying to work with, mm -hmm. nothing's going to happen. Yeah. There has to be trust and there has to be that rapport that you build on mm -hmm. with time. And it has to be a sincere, sincere relationship because, you know, people would trust you with their money, their family, and yeah. you have to help them right. build the nest to protect the family. That's right, that's right. For many years to go. It's a huge responsibility. Yeah. Okay, and many times the planning that we do for individuals, mm -hmm. for business owners, um, uh, for young professionals, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily just for today. Yeah. This is for generations, Yeah. okay? So my priority is to help you achieve what your financial goals are. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanna do, Yeah. okay? But then you now have Switch that a little bit. You yeah. became a became a, a business partner. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm what they my title is a partner. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was in the field running my financial service practice for nine years. Learning, learning. Yeah. Yes. So the opportunity came for me to be a partner, mm -hmm. which in my mind it's a coach. Yes. Okay. I'm a team player, and I offer opportunities to people in the general community mm -hmm. that have the desire to serve the community. They want to run their own show, so they've got that entrepreneurial spirit. Yes. Okay. They're disciplined, and they want to achieve a level that they might not have been able to achieve at their job that they've had. Correct. Okay. And, and uh, just to clarify, they don't have to be uh, graduated and master degrees in business and things like that to join you and, and, and be underneath you, you know, no, where you no, become no. their mentor. Not, not at all. Now, I'll, I'll tell you that um, we have a broad range of backgrounds. Mm -hmm. We definitely have a lot of college graduates, mm -hmm. but we have some that are not. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have nurses in our field. We have doctors in our field. We have attorneys in our field. So these are different professionals at every single level that said, you know, I want control over my calendar and I wanna serve the public, the community. And on the backside, if I serve the public and the, the community and I take care of their financial needs, I'm gonna be compensated at a level that I appreciate. Absolutely. So, so you, know, you know, that's a good point. And, and every time you keep think, talking about the whole thing and us being in a community for all this year, right? Cause yeah. I, I have seen it in all different levels. Yeah. I can definitely tell you, and, I, and you will do the same for me is, I've been in Kansas City 22 years, and I had the opportunity to work next to you for several years. But then I 
you know, after, after I left the company, I'm still in the same, in the same world, right? right? I'm still in a leadership world, uh -huh. developing people, helping oh, people, yeah. mentoring yeah. people. Yeah. And that's who you are as well. Yes, yes, very much. Yeah, because so in, in reality, your true passion is to develop individuals, be a leader, yeah. and make somebody's life better. It is, Carlos. The one thing that uh, I strive to do mm -hmm. is to reach back and bring those that want to follow me and, uh, and allow me to train, coach, and, mm -hmm. and teach them the way in this business. Mm -hmm. I want to introduce this financial service professional opportunity to those that will, again, allow me to coach them. Mm -hmm. If you want to know, then let me know, mm -hmm. okay? And we'll have a conversation. Mm -hmm. and that's how it starts. Yes, but then you come with such a strong foundation because things have not been easy. Right, right. It has been a step at a time, a step at a time. There was there were no corners being cut or anything like that. Right. You did it the right way. And for those of you, if you're wondering, you know, getting into financial services is not an easy task. It is just like opening a business. It is hard to grow a business from ground up. And so the way Mr. Johnny Tucker did it is he did it from ground up. Mm -hmm. So he learned every little step along the way. So now what I feel that you will get by, you know, Get, being around here is him is that you will get all the bases. You he will help you cover all your bases. That way, you grow organically and you become a leader in your community, whatever it is your community at. And so, I say, if you're planning on changing a career, let's give him a let's give him a chance, and you and him get together, have a cup of coffee. Because this guy, if anybody knows how to do it, he is. <laughs> he does. Thank so you. the leadership part, you know, I talk about it all the time, and especially in our minority community. Uh -huh. You know, it's a big deal because very few of us worry about or care about it to share how to set a foundation in our communities, right? right. Take care, how to take care of our kids, how to, to make sure that if something happens to us, yeah. our kids have a something for the future, have right. a, something left. Right, exactly. Well, for one, it's all about exposure, mm -hmm. okay? So specifically, when you mentioned the uh, minority community in Kansas mm -hmm. City, uh, there's a need for more financial literacy, mm -hmm. okay? That's our responsibility, mm -hmm. okay? So we wanna educate large group, small group, it doesn't matter. Because again, my passion comes from helping others. And the last thing I wanna see is, if you're speaking on, say, some of our financial products, I wanna, if I don't make it home today, I want to know that my children are fine. Their future is financially sound. Okay. And that's the type of foundation that we provide for our clients, but it starts with a conversation. And many times people are uh, misinformed and they think, well, your services are unaffordable. Now let's sit down and talk. Absolutely. Let's sit down and talk. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. we're going to do what's specific for you. Mm -hmm. One of the first questions I ask is, What's your number one financial priority? Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's got to be all about our clients, not what I want. It's not about my compensation. Mm -hmm. I can't serve the community effectively if I'm worried about me. It has to be about you, your children, your spouse, your business owners mm -hmm. or partners. Mm -hmm. so. In the same way, you coach your 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 uh, your your uh, the people that comes to work with you. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I have a team of twelve, mm -hmm. and we spend a lot of time together. Um, you know, anywhere from showing them the basics to advancing them through the process. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we focus on additional licensing so they can serve a broader audience, mm -hmm. designations to make them uh, so they can have the more the, the credibility that they need in financial services. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so that's ongoing. And that's that's, this, that's this career. It's for uh, there's, there's a highly regulated industry. Absolutely. There's changes that occur. And they need that support to do business on their own with the support of a Fortune 500 company. Absolutely. But, you know, having somebody like you, that they don't have to pay a dime to get mentored? Oh, no. No, <laughs> no. no not at all. Not at yeah. all. Mentorship is, is, is very important, and no matter what you do. Yeah. Okay? But I want to share my knowledge. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. Uh, there's no reason for me to keep all of my knowledge to myself and mm -hmm. not share it with those that have the potential to grow also. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's my legacy. Yeah. Is that if I can educate you, share my knowledge, and show you the path 
to success, then I'm going to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. I really like that. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you have noticed or not, but we are running out of time already. Oh, already. Oh, wow. That was quick. <laughs> that was quick. Ooh, good. So I want you to look at the people and especially, you know, look at around your group, uh -huh. the people that you have in your group and, and who is, you know, Look at those faces, mm -hmm. and then I want you to leave us a message, a message that maybe inspires somebody right. to start a career, change a career, right. or maybe inspire somebody, whatever they are right now, and see if they're stuck. They don't know what to do, what's next, and to look at it differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will you leave us a message? Well, you know what? I know for sure that there's viewers out there that work hard, they're trusted within their community, they have the ethics that they need that are looking for a bigger and greater opportunity to not only make a living for themselves and their family, but to serve the ones they love and care about within their community. Okay. This career is not for everyone. I'll be the first to say that, but you don't know until you have a conversation and take a look at the full scale of what we do, you know? So if you want that opportunity, if you want that conversation, I think Carlos is going to provide you with my name and phone number. Give me a call. We'll meet for a cup of coffee. I simply want to educate you on the industry, but more importantly, who we are as a company. Now, New York Life, there's over 900 companies within our industry. Excellent. We're the only company that's considered a career agency. Okay, We're an expensive model, but what a career agency does for you, someone that's wanting to get into financial services, control your calendar, and set the level of, of income that you would like to have for yourself and your family is you have support. We have a team of consultants. We have six partners out of our office. We have two development managers that all work to help individuals be better and take off fast within this career. Yes, and that I know for sure because I went through the process and you like the way I work. Most of the things I do, I learn it there. So I can tell you that it's truth. And I also know Mr. Tucker for so many years. I see him grown from ground up to become the person that he is. And I great I admire him greatly. And I can tell you that his life is has it is amazing things. All the amazing things that has happened to him. I personally recommend you take a look at that and see if that can happen to you. And, and improve your lifestyle, not only economically, but also intellectually. Mm -hmm. Because the things you learn in this industry, in the financial service industry, not only going to make you money, but it's going to also make you smarter right. and you make better choices. And then if you're stuck somewhere and you know you know more and you know you can do better, then maybe that's the thing you want to look into it. Um, are we forgetting anything else? I know the message for the community. No, no, that's it. You know, um, um, I appreciate the time here. Uh, tomorrow starts the National uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. Excellent. That's an incredible thing. The uh, Latinos are doing so much for the communities across the country, and I recognize it and appreciate it. You know, we, we just had a Latino event two weeks ago at our office, and it was very successful. So we met with some leadership, and uh, it's, there's a lot going on, a lot going on. So as my managing partner, Doug Hartman, mentioned, we're back. We're back in the communities. We're looking for some great people to join our team. And whether you want to be a producer or look at an opportunity in management, again, it starts with the conversation. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, for those of you that have been watching through the entire program, I hope you have learned some good things. But you have, if you have a curiosity to know what it is and how it works, I will put the information up there so you can reach out to Mr. John Tucker. He's a partner with the Greater Kansas City New York Life Office here in Overland Park. And if you just want to have a cup of coffee with him, just to chat about his single father experience, <laughs> do that. Because I'm sure he will share some good stories if that's the situation you're in right now. Yeah. You, you need help with something like that. Or if you just want to talk about changing a career or an advice about a career or I don't know, all the different things that come to mind when we are listening to people like him. Uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot to learn. So we can't cover it in 30 minutes. Uh, today was just a tiny bit. We just talked about a little bit 
little bitty things, mm -hmm. but I want you to pay close attention to this type of uh, programs because I'm constantly going to be looking for people and I've been doing it for almost two years now. Bring you people that's doing well in the community, that's doing things for the community. Not necessarily the richest guy. Mm -hmm. We don't need people with a lot of money to be successful. We need people that cares yeah. for the community, cares for you, for the families, and cares to see changes and make progress in your life or the community. So I'll leave you with that. All right. Mr. Tucker, thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. It's been a pleasure. And thank you all. Yes. This is Carlos Vida with Innovative Minds here at Televida. I will see you soon.